Hi guys, this is Tridip and you are watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. In this episode, I will show you how you can add 3D content in your website. And I will do it with a wonderful software by the name of Vectory. Vectory 3D has been in this industry for quite some time now, but now it has gone one notch higher when you can actually convert Vectory 3D elements from their website to real life air content. In this particular example, I will show you how easily you can add a 3D Vectory content in your website as well as you can actually see it in real life while you can augment that particular object in your living room. So that is the enter crux of this particular video episode but before we deep dive kindly like share and comment on this video and if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of our upcoming update so without much ado let's get started i will right now share my screen and you will see how easily we can create 3d content in vectory add those 3d content in your website and then augment those 3d content in real life so let's get started so i guess you can see my screen as well as my uh, video screen fantastic so this is a rough website that i have created in my learn with 3d uh, website i guess you already have known that uh, the video channel of learn with 3d already has a website associated to it which is again that goes by the same name learn with 3d.com so if you have not visited the website kindly visit the website https www.learnwith 3d.com what it has it has all the video content in that website with a proper blogs associated with it also if you don't know, there are a lot of affiliate products that is available in this website. So if you really want any one of the affiliate softwares from those links, you can go ahead and do those things. I, I generally don't force people to buy products from my website. That's, that's the first principle of this particular channel. But definitely I only cover those softwares which has really made my life easier, my life better and if you are really following me you will know that why I use a particular software and why I can suggest the name of those softwares but again I don't force feed I don't force my subscriber to buy any content from my products let's get started so this is a dummy furniture store and we will see how we can actually get a similar looking chair in this site okay so let's hop to victory i click on victory so if you see when you are in the uh, main victory screen i have already taken a similar chair over here but let's go back to my dashboard first so once i click a new project over here Vectory automatically creates this uh, playing ground for me. There is a grid which is isometric in nature. It is already placed in the web, in the perspective view, and there are this amazing menu uh, tools over here, which you have all the solid primitives over here: box, sphere, cone, cylinder, tube, torus, polyhedron, capsule, square plane, circle plane shadow plane, infinite plane. So the last things are basically planes which you can use in the 3D scene which can actually accept shadow and the infinite plane is actually more like a studio setup where you have the long uh, background, a curved um, a sort of background at the back side of the product which you can use as a studio purpose. Also, if you Go, if you go to the library and you search for these collections, you have metal collections, you have wood collection, you have glass collection, plastic, concrete, fiber, then there are objects, various type of objects that are already present. So if you want any sort of uh, 
furniture like things like sofa lamp you have a cupboard over here um, you have uh, different types of uh, upper storage you have cupboards you have chairs all sorts of uh, this type of things you uh, already find over here so it has a hell lot of products that you can actually use for your uh, particular thing so for our purpose we will be requiring something like the one i have already uh, taken so i will just hop back to my projects and i will open this particular project that we i have already selected so if you see you can rotate okay you can move this object up down and in various axes okay once you are settled with your product you can directly go to either rendering this product which will give you as jpeg various file formats say for example jpeg pngs and if you want transparent background it will give you transparent pngs and all those stuffs but for our sake for our this particular video we uh, want it to be rendered as an air object which i can embed in my website so without much ado let's see how i can um, generate a 3d object for my website so very simple you just need to go and click on the generate button in the viewer tab once you click on the generate uh, button it automatically fixes itself in the center to the screen and generates a code for you you simply need to copy this code from here and just one click over here actually copies the code for you you have to just go back to your website say for example i want it to be attached over here i could have already replaced it I can do that also. I can just go over here and I can replace this thing. So let's delete this thing. I will go over here. I will click my code because it is a code that I have to replace over here and I paste my code. Simple. And wow, your website already have this product over here great so your job is done at this point of time you just need to save it and your job is done if you just exit your visual builder by the way i am using another software another uh, theme builder software by the name of bv um, from the elegant themes uh, company and this entire site was built with dv and it actually helps you to drag and drop content drag and drop uh, code base and your site can be easily done so you see you have the 3d object over here absolutely transparent and it is reacting to your mouse movement so that's 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 all you just need to if you want to zoom you can just press control and zoom your content awesome isn't it now let us see what are this ar and this uh, particular sign that is over here this sign is basically for basic users though i have a professional plan it is still there for removing this particular icon for over here that is a vectory icon you need to purchase an enterprise plan or you have to talk to them to get it white labeled so right now your object is over here you have a air icon over here that actually tells you that this particular object is not only embedded as 3d object over here but it can also be augmented so i can just click on this over here and you see there is a qr code that is generated and you can just scan your mobile device and you can see the content in your mobile device also 
I will just take a break. I will cut this video over here and I will show you that how I show the entire product on my living room. Okay. So I will just quickly open my mobile and I will just go to the page that is learn with fridib.com and go to the right page that is 3d hyphen ar hyphen demo so you can see that the screen already has a product over here which can be very nicely augmented so this is my product I hope you can see the product right yeah and it can it moves it moves the way we saw it in our cell. okay and over here you can see the air button once you have the air thingy at your place you can now very well point any device see it actually show you where you want to project it and it very well places the product onto your surface so this surface can be your living room floor it can be a tabletop anywhere you can see it so i will just quickly break this thing and i will show you how i am actually pointing the device and uh, getting the chair on my tabletop So that's all folks hope you have really liked this video and i wish to see that a lot of the ux and ui designers who are following my channel will be using 3d content in whatever shape and size whether they are doing a furniture store or they are doing a product based um, website they will use 3d content which are interactive in nature and can be augmented in real world please uh, share your websites your apps that you are trying to do i will really love to see all of them if you have liked this video kindly like share and comment on this video and if you're new to this channel can you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of our upcoming updates till we meet again in the next week goodbye and god bless